Hi guys and welcome back to another show of Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine. Today what we're making is we're making Keto coleslaw with salmon patties and tartar sauce. I hope you enjoy the show. The recipe should be downright delicious. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up this half of a cabbage and then I'm going to add it to my bowl and I'll take video of that and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I chopped up half of the cabbage and the other half I put in a bag and I'm going to store that in my deep freeze until I need to use it again. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take four organic celery stalks. I'm going to use the celery leaves because it gives a lot of flavor in the dishes that you're making or that you're creating. I'll cut off the stems and I will save those for my vegetable broth. And I'm going to process this in the food processor. Next, I put in half of a bunch of cilantro into my food processor. I changed out my blade so that it's not finely slicing, it's just going to roughly chop it. And I'll show you what that looks like. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the contents to my bowl, which I already added the celery to the bowl, and I'll show you that. And I added the scraps to my vegetable bag. And this is for when I make vegetable broth and I'll show you how to do that in your future. Now what I'm going to do is chop up two medium sized uh, apples, but I'm not gonna chop it fine. I'm just going to chop it in large chunks. And then I'm going to put it in my food processor and I'm going to process it with the blade in as opposed to finely chopping it. So it's actually, or shredding it. So it's actually going to be chopped by the, my food processing blade. So silly me, I decided not to chop it with the blade. I'm going to shred it with the other blade instead. This is how my apple came out, but I'll show you a better video. So what I did is I added the apple to my big bowl and I stirred it to combine. Next, I'm going to finely cut into pieces um, or into strips. This is sorted bell pepper, and I'll show you video. So basically what I've done is I've julienned the bell pepper. Now, since our vegetables are prepped, what we're going to do is we're going to make the dressing. So for this, what you're going to need is a mason jar. So I have a mason jar and my lid so that I can close it, I can seal it, I can shake it up and blend it. The first ingredient we're going to start with is one tablespoon of fresh ginger. The next ingredient we're going to add is one garlic clove minced. That's about one teaspoon of minced garlic. And we're going to add that to the mason jar. The next ingredient is one quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. And apple cider vinegar is really, really good for diabetics, especially if it has a mother in it. The reason for that is, is because it has a lot of essential minerals and vitamins that your body needs. One essential mineral for diabetes is magnesium, which apple cider vinegar with the mother in it does have. And that's why we're using it. The next ingredient we'll be adding is two tablespoons of stevia. Now add one quarter cup of olive oil. One teaspoon of low sodium soy sauce. Two tablespoons of dark sesame oil. Next, add one half teaspoon each of both salt and pepper. 
Now add one tablespoon of lime juice. And next, chop up half of a jalapeno. Now shake its contents in the mason jar with the lid on and then taste it to see if there's anything else it needs. Mmm, that is good. Now go ahead and pour its contents over the salad and stir up the salad and then stick it in your fridge. Just let it marinate for a few hours until you're ready to eat it. And I'll show you a video clip of it. Okay, to start what I did is I emptied three cans of salmon, boneless salmon, into a big mixing bowl. And I'm going to start adding the other ingredients. Also, I wanted to mention who my recipes were inspired by, and I actually put that in the description down below so you can check those out. So the first ingredient was three small cans of salmon. The next ingredient is going to be two farm fresh eggs. Now stir up the eggs with the salmon and add one half chopped red onion. And then give that a stir and add one teaspoon each of garlic and onion powder. Next, give that a stir and add a tablespoonful of chopped Spanish olives. Next, give that a stir and add one quarter teaspoon of chili powder. Now add one teaspoon of sriracha. And then add one half teaspoon each of salt and pepper. Now add one half teaspoon of smoked paprika. And one tablespoon of lemon juice. Now add one half cup of psyllium husks. Now add one tablespoon of dill. And one tablespoon of parsley. Now add one half cup of almond flour. Stir to combine and then add Parmesan cheese. Now what you're going to do is take an ice cream scoop so that you can get the right size amount every time. You're going to roll it into a ball and then you're going to squish it into a patty. Also, I just put olive oil into my pan. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to spread it around evenly. It's just maybe about a tablespoonful. I'm going to turn my burner on medium high and then I'm going to put my patties in my pot or my pan. I take that back, it's probably about three tablespoons now that I look at it. So my patties are formed and I'll show you what it looks like. And I just put them in my pan and I'm going to allow it to brown on each side. And then I put a piece of uh, paper towel down on a plate and then I'll plate it once they're fully cooked. This is what it looks like inside of the pan. All right, I just brought my chickens out some water and when I came back in, and it was actually ice water that I gave them, but when I came back in, what I did is, it did is I flipped the um, tuna cakes, not the tuna cakes, the salmon patties over. So they're starting to get a nice brown color to them. They look good. What we're going to make now is the homemade tartar sauce. And for that, we need one cup of mayonnaise and you're gonna put this in your food processor. Next thing we're adding is one dill pickle. You can add any, you can use any brand you want. One tablespoon of dill. One teaspoon of onion powder. We're going to add two tablespoons of chopped red onion. I'm just going to quarter this and then I'm going to put it in the food processor and the food processor is actually going to be what processes the onion and minces it up finely. Next I'm adding one teaspoon of stevia. 
one teaspoon of low sodium, sodium soy sauce. And then just go ahead and blend that up on high. Now we're just gonna give it a taste to see what else it needs. I would definitely say a little bit more um, salt and a tablespoon of lemon juice. That would do the trick. Okay, so there's my salmon patties, there's my homemade tartar sauce, and there's my keto coleslaw, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this show. Um, the recipe is listed down below. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. Bye.